What is ATIS? Atlanta Airport ATIS Formation Bravo Limited Weather at 1645 Zulu, wind light and variable, tower visibility 20 miles, sky conditions, tower ceiling 5000 broken, few below, altimeter 2993, IFR approach, visual runway 26 left, Arava departure runways 26 left and 26 right. Note runway service conditions available on request. Inform ATC on initial contact, you have information, Bravo. ATIS stands for Automatic Terminal Information Service and it gives us, the pilots, a lot of relevant information about the airport we're about to take off from or we're arriving at. You can get the ATIS information just by tuning in to the proper frequency from an airplane, a handheld radio or maybe even calling through the phone. In Canada we have a giant book that has all the information about all airports, including the ATIS frequency. For Pitt Meadows, the ATIS frequency is 125000. Zulu, wind light and variable, tower visibility 20 miles, sky conditions, tower ceiling. When you listen to the ATIS, you're gonna get information about the weather, runways, taxiway closures, if any, any no temps or pareps, or anything relevant to the operation around the airport in that day maybe even bird activities or coyotes in the runway. Whatever is happening and you should be paying attention to. So I'm gonna play the message to you and we can do a breakdown of the information. Bravo. Look at this. It's oddly satisfying. Pete Meadows Airport Eight is information Bravo. Limited weather at 1645 Zulu. Now is 1729 Zulu. So this message is 45 minutes old. If nothing changes in Pit Meadows, they leave the ATIS for longer. But if something relevant changes or the winds pick up or the runway is closer, if anything happens and they have to put new information out there, they're just gonna release a new one without waiting for an hour or whatever time they normally wait in between messages. Wind, light and variable, how the wind is doing. Visibility, 20 miles from tower. So visibility is pretty good. And then ceiling or clouds layers. So today, 5,000 broken, few below. Broken coverage means that it's more than half covered, but not fully overcast. So there are some gaps here and there. Uh, and few clouds below means exactly what they say. There are few clouds below 5,000. Then they're gonna give you the altimeter setting, so you can put it in your altimeter. So altimeter setting, two, nine or nine or three. So you just put that. It's pretty much standard pressure today. Standard would be 2992, so we're right there. If you're coming on an IFR flight plan, you can expect a visual approach for two six left. Two six left and two six right are the active runways at the moment. There's a note going on today, because as you can see, everything's covered in snow. There's a lot of ice in the runway. Hey, good morning. I'm just wondering, how is the runway condition on the runway 26 right? Uh, India, India Uniform Ground, uh, for runway 26 right, uh, they actually just issued a new runway service conditions report. Uh, for runway 26 right, it is reporting 100% ice, uh, 70 feet wide uh, width for the runway, 10 inches uh, wind rows, uh, 35 feet south and north uh, from the center line. Did you want the runway service conditions report for runway 26 left? Yes, please. Indeed, need from ground roger. Uh, runway 08 right 26 left. Uh, the report is 10% uh, ice, 90 feet wide, 1 foot wind rows, 45 feet south and north from the center line. Uh, roger, we'll consider runway 26 left then. Uh, Currently we're at a five request taxi and local east departure. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you my map. This is the VTA. Now on the top here you have information about all the airports you can see in this area. So Nanaimo, Victoria, Victoria Harbor, Vancouver, Vancouver Harbor, Boundary Bay, Delta Heritage Park, Pitt Meadows, Langley, Abbotsford and Chilliwack. Not all of the airports I just mentioned have ATIS. So Chilliwack doesn't have an ATIS. Delta Heritage Air Park is also just an ATF frequency. But for the other airports here, you can find the ATIS frequency. So Nanaimo, 128425. You can just check here, find the ATIS, tune in your radio in the airplane or in the handheld and listen to the information. Or as I mentioned before, you just call the number and go to the menu. Let me show you how that goes. I saved the context for the ATIS as AAA ATIS. So it's the first thing. 
in my contact list because I believe it's the number I call the most. Call them, put them on speaker. Welcome to the Vancouver area ATIS. For menus in French, press 9. To return to the previous menu, press the pound key at any time. For lower mainland, press 1. For Vancouver Island, press 2. Let's press 1. For Vancouver International, for Abbotsford, for Meadows, for Langley, for Boundary Bay, for Vancouver Harbor, press 6. Pete Meadows. Note runway service condition. Is the one we just heard. You can just switch between the options without finishing the message you're currently listening. So, Vancouver International, you might have to wait until the message starts again because you're just landing on the frequency, right? All right, so let's check the ADIS from Langley to see how they are doing right there. Langley Information Bravo, limited weather at 1655 Sulu, wind 070, at 10, testing 15, tower visibility tree 0, tower ceiling 4000 broken. Broken above, altimeter 2902. Approach, RNAV runway 01, circling runway 07. Landing and departing runway 07. Runway surface condition, runway 0725, 80%, 1 inches dry snow, and 20% ice. Valid from February 5th, at 1538 Zulu, to February 6th, at 0015 Zulu. Friction index runway 0725 not reported. Inform ATC that you have information bravo. Normally, the conditions of the airport are not like this, right? But when they are, they have to tell you, hey, there's ice in the runway, or please ask us if you want to know the runway conditions. It's not even snow anymore. It melted, so it froze again, and now it's pure ice, which is not very good if you're trying to stop an airplane. Other than that, you might also have NOTAMs or PIREPs included to the ADIS message. So a NOTAM is a notice to airmen. If you're a pilot and you're coming into an airport and they need you to notify you about something and it affects the safety or planning for your flight, they need to issue a NOTAM. Uh, let's say you're coming into Pit Meadows and runway 26 right is closed for the whole month of March because of ongoing constructions. They have to issue a NOTAM, so you can find that online. And also they can include that on the 80s, right? If it's an OTAM for the whole month, they're not going to broadcast it every time the 80s comes out. And PIREPs are pilot reports. Let's say I'm flying and I see a bunch of geese flying around to the south of the airport and they've been there for the whole day. And they can also add that to their 80s, saying like PIREP, uh, pilot reported extensive bird activities right to the south of the field. So other pilots have that information and they can be on the lookout for birds or for whatever else it is. Pyreps can also be about the weather, like a severe turbulence observed five miles to the east of the airport or dense fog observed somewhere, like anything that's not tower information and other pilots gave tower, those are pyreps. So if you see something that is a safety issue for you or for others, tell tower they can put a pyrep up. So more people are aware. So if you're about to start flying and you want to get more familiar with the, you know, the language around aviation, listening to 80s is a very good thing. Every time a new information comes, it's going to use the next letter in the alphabet, in the phonetic alphabet. So it's just going to go Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, and all the way to Zulu. After Zulu, it goes back to Alpha. When the airport closes at night, just like Pete Meadows is not a 24-hour towered airport, so in the morning, the first information is always going to be Alpha. It starts at 7 a.m. So at 7 a.m., you can call the number and you can expect Alpha. If Alpha is looking good, I'll leave my house and I come to fly. If Alpha is looking bad, I'll wait for Bravo. And then when you call ATC, you can tell them you have information so they are aware that you are aware of what's going on in the airport. So they know you already know what runway to expect or possible closures, anything like that. I think this is all I needed to tell you about ATIS. It is freezing and I'm not flying anymore. So I'm gonna go home and get warm and eat some soup because this is insane. So I'll be back next week with a different video. Hopefully by then it's gonna be warmer. But I don't think it's gonna be any warmer because this is what we're expecting for next week. So if you're planning to become a pilot in Canada and you don't know how to get started on your pilot training or visa application, send me a message on Instagram. One day I was also sitting there watching YouTube videos on how to become a pilot. And um, yeah, now I'm here flying. So it's a lot of fun. 
And if you want to do it, I can show you the way. Ah, okay, stay warm, everybody. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. It's a big paw. I, I could be home sleeping, but I'm here making a video for you. So please, if you enjoy what I'm trying to do here, <laughs> subscribe because I am freezing my ass off.